Hello everyone, this is Jane again with you and we're trying to solve another math problem. The angle of elevation of the top of the mountain as measured from point P is 26.3 degrees. At another point, P1, which is 100 meter closer to it, the angle of elevation of each top is 32.5 degrees. Find the height of the mountain. Now, Ito, sinulat ko na yung solution niya. Ini-sketch ko muna yung rough sketch ng mountain. Ang sabi dito, the angle of elevation to the top of the mountain is 26.3. This is the first point. Then, another point closer to it, which is 100 meter distance from the point P is equal to 100 meter is have an angle of elevation of 32.5 degrees. So, dito, sa diagram na to, makita mo na pwede ka makaform ng right triangle. We have right triangle 1 and right triangle 2. So, sa pag-solve nito, mayroon dalawang paraan. Either you will use the law of sine or using the tangent function. If, kung tangent function ang gagamitin natin, pa, medyo mahaba-haba ang proseso. Ikumpara sa law of sign, medyo maiksi, madali lang. So, anyway, unahin natin using the tangent function. Dito, sa unang malaking right triangle, ito ilabas natin, here is the P and B. This is one side. And uh, this one down is 100 plus the distance. Here it is. From here to here is 100 plus the distance. It is signet natin uh, from point P1 to the point where saan yung pinaka-tuk-tuk ng mountain. So, we, we designate it as D. Kaya, ang distance dito from P to C is equal to 100 plus D. Sa pangalawang tri right triangle naman, yung 32.5 degrees, ang ano natin is D from P1 to C is D. Tapos, ang height niya ng mountain. Ngayon, kung gamitan natin ng tangent, tangent pa, so tangent of 26.3 will be equal to opposite, which is the height, over the adjacent, which is 100 plus D. Ito, yung buo na to. From here to here is 100 plus D. So tangent 26.3 is equal to H over D plus 100. Simplifying it, H will be equal to 0.494D plus 49.42. Ito yung ano natin ng H at saka D. Pero ang hinahanap natin is the height of the mountain, which is H. D, wala, is unknown also, so hahanapin pa natin yung value ng D at saka H. Now, punta tayo sa another right triangle with an angle of 32.5 degrees. So, ito, ang tangent niya is H over D. Therefore, tangent 32.5 is equal to H over D. H, therefore, here is 0.637D. Now, of course, pareho sila ng height. So, pwede natin substitute yung value ng H dito sa equation na to. So, ito ang mangyari. H is 0.637 is equal to 0.494D plus 49.42. Therefore, <clears throat> D is equal to 
345.5 meter. Yun yung distance from P1 to C. Ngayon, masolve na natin ang value ng H. From this equation, we'll see that H is equal to 0.637 times D. Substituting the value of D, which is 345.5, will result to the value of H, which is the height of the mountain, is equal to 220.143 meter. So, yan kung gagamitin natin ng tangent function. Kung gagamitan natin ng law of sine, ang law of sine states that it is one side over the opposite angle is equal to the other side over the opposite angle. Now, dito... Itong trend, ano na to? May given na na angle na 26.3. Dito, minamainus natin kasi the other right triangle have 32.5 degrees. So, ang total nito, from here to here is 180 degrees. So, 180 minus 32.5 is equal to 147.5. So, sa interior angles na to, meron ng Dalawa na ano. So, in a triangle, the sum of all interior angles is 180 degrees. So, meron na tayong 26.3 tapos 147.5 added to this one minus or 180 minus the sum of these two will result to 6.2. The third angle is 6.2. So, ito, naging 6.2 na. Therefore, gamitin natin law of sine, PB, which is this side, over the sine 147, kasi yun ang opposite angle na, 147.5, is equal to, dahil given itong side na to, which is 100 over, the opposite angle which is 6.2 PB therefore is equal to 497.5 meter <clears throat> so nakuha na natin itong side na to ang length nito it's 497.5 meter now to find the height of the mountain Just you can use here the sine function also as sine 26.3, which is this one, is equal to the height. Now, to find the height, kasi meron na tayong ano eh, meron na tayong length nito, PB. So, to find the height, we will use again the sine function. Sine 26.3, which is this one, is equal to the height of over the uh, over the hypotenuse which is pb therefore solving this one will result to h which is the height of the mountain is 220.43 there is a little difference with the the one we're using for the tangent function pero okay lang yan kasi point decimal naman 0.43 or 0.143 so anyway guys sa mga nag take ng board exam Next year, huwag niyo talaga kalimutan mag-memorize ng mga mathematics formulas at saka mag-practice ng problem solving.